An electric kettle is rated at two kilowatts and takes one minute to boil some water. So we have to calculate the energy transformed by the kettle, first of all using standard units, joules, seconds, that kind of thing, and then secondly using domestic power units, which will involve power use of uh, kilowatts and time of hours, resulting in an energy of kilowatt hours. So let's use list equation solve state to structure the calculation. What do we know to start with? Well, the electric kettle is rated at 2 kilowatts, so let's put that in our list. So P for power equals 2 little k capital W kilowatts, but we want standard units, so that is 2,000 watts. What else do we know? Well, the time that the kettle is on is one minute. And one minute in standard units is in seconds, so that's 60 seconds. What are we trying to find? The energy transformed, question mark, joules. That's the hardest bit. Once you've got that listing sorted out, all we need to do is select an equation, and you can look up the equation on your equation sheet, which is given in the exam, and we have energy transformed is equal to power times time. Now all we have to do is put the numbers in. So here we go. Energy equals power is 2000 times by time 60, which equals 12,000. No, it's 120,000, isn't it? There we are, 120,000. It's one, two, three, four zeros. Yes, and a 12. State the answer with the unit, so energy transformed equals 12, 120,000 joules. Standard units calculation. Let's do the same now, but using domestic power units. So, a list. What do we know? The power is 2 kilowatts. That's the power rating of the kettle. We don't need to convert that. Time is 1 minute. Uh, we do need to convert this because in domestic power units we use hours. So that's one sixtieth of an hour. And you could work that out on the calculator to get a decimal if you wanted. And what are we finding? Energy equals question mark. And the unit we'll get is kilowatt hours. That's the unit of, of energy in domestic power units. So the equation as before is E equals P times T. Put the numbers in, solve it, so we get 2 kilowatts times by 1 over 60. Bit of maths here, 2 times 1, that's 2 over 60, so that's 2 over 60, which equals 1 over 30. Now let's state the answer with the unit. So the energy is equal to, well, 1 divided by 30 is 0.033 recurring. 0.033, we'll just go to two significant figures. And the unit is kilowatt hours. 0.033 kilowatt hours. And, and look at the difference between the size of this number in joules and the size of this number in kilowatt hours. So you can see that for uh, when we've got appliances that may be on for hours in the day, this number will be a lot bigger. It might be 5, 6 or 7 kilowatt hours, but this number would be unmanageably big. So I hope that's been of some help. Domestic power units calculation and standard units calculation using List equation solve state.